video like I promised. Uh, as you can see, there's a post right there. So, after about four hours of work on this, finally ported the Dro Android operating system, Google's Android, to my iPhone 3G. And it's a very flaky version, it's slow, multi-touch doesn't work that well, camera doesn't work, not all the apps are on there, but it's still Android, so I'll just give you a little demo. Here's the basic home screen, um, you have your Google up there at the top, Oops. Um, you can of course go side to side, like the standard Android operating system, and then you have your messaging dialer. I'm trying to show you dialer. Uh, call people or whatever, and uh, this is the home button. So. Kind of weird layout. This button here brings up that little menu, and then you have your browser, which I'm in Google right now, and you can go to other places. I don't know. I haven't really played with this too much yet, but let's just see. This will search. Alright, so here's a Google search. Uh, as you can see, Wi-Fi is obviously working because AT&T um, is not yet given away the driver, so you can actually use cellular data, and then of course your settings, so I'll just show you that Wi-Fi works, so as you can see I'm connected to my own network. Here, we have more stuff. Unfortunately, the Android Marketplace is not up yet, which is what I was most excited to use, so I could get some, you know, uh, open source applications. But at least it's Android, at least it's a start, and uh, pretty soon there should be a new version out. All right, I'm gonna go to bed now. It is now like 12:30. Yeah, it's really late and I've been working on this for a while so when the update comes out I'll have a new video on thanks